When the house's new mascot is captured by a greedy man, a slacker cat has to leave his life of stewardship and cross the big city to rescue him. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Garfield, from 2004. In a beautiful house in suburban New York lives a lazy, pot-bellied orange cat called Garfield. After waking up to the sound of the alarm clock, Garfield gets ready for his daily routine, eating, watching TV and tormenting his owner, John. During breakfast, John puts cat food on Garfield's tray while he heats up his meal in the microwave. However, in a moment of distraction, the feline switches the plates and John accidentally swallows the cat food. After his meal, Garfield goes outside to look for more food. Just then, another cat called Nermal appears. The two of them watch the milk truck making deliveries to the houses and Garfield has an idea. He convinces Nermal to climb into a bucket so they can play astronauts. At that moment, Garfield pulls a rope that lifts the bucket and knocks a vase out of the window. The vase falls on a broom and its handle lifts the wooden floor where the milk bottle is. The milk then spills all over the wooden floor, while Garfield is on the other side, waiting with his mouth open for his drink. But the cat isn't satisfied yet and his next target is a pie in the window of the house next door. But this house is home to a guard dog called Luca and he doesn't like Garfield one bit. To Luca's misfortune, Garfield is smarter and, seeing that the dog is caught in a chain, he makes the dog follow him around the garden. Luca doesn't realize that his chain is getting tangled up in the ducks and the garden dwarf and ends up getting stuck. After successfully completing his plan, Garfield makes fun of the dog and even takes the pie as a prize for his victory. Back at home, Garfield is at his owner's side when suddenly a mouse appears walking across the floor. On seeing it, John asks Garfield to go after the rodent, but the cat is too lazy to act. John then runs into the kitchen, grabs a broom and tries to eliminate the animal. However, the mouse manages to escape, while John slips on Garfield's ball. At this point, the cat decides to give his owner a hand before he gets even more annoyed. Outside, Garfield meets the mouse, but in fact the two already knew each other. The mouse, called Lewis, explains that he has come for the cookies and Garfield tells him not to enter the house when his owner is there. Garfield then pretends to have caught the mouse to fool John, who leaves the house to check what has happened. The plan works as expected and when John enters again, Garfield spits on Lewis. Hours later, the cat is in his armchair watching a TV program. In it, the presenter known as Dr. Happy is holding a cat while promoting a new brand of cat food. However, at the end of the program, Dr. Happy starts sneezing nonstop because he is allergic to cats. His assistant gives him an anti-allergic and the two of them go to his office, while Dr. Happy expresses his dissatisfaction with his work. To make matters worse, he is even more annoyed when he sees his twin brother on TV working as a successful news anchor. Meanwhile, Garfield sees John bringing in the groceries. He dumps several plates of lasagna on the table, but warns the cat not to touch them. However, when John returns with the rest of the bags, he finds Garfield lying down with a full belly, having eaten all the lasagna. That day, John takes him to his veterinarian friend, Dr. Liz, who says that the cat is in good health. She then asks her assistant to look after the cat, while she calls its owner for a private chat. There, John takes the opportunity to ask Liz out on a date, but in reality, the doctor has called him to talk about adopting a puppy called Odie. Despite the unexpected surprise, John accepts the offer. Meanwhile, Garfield is ready to go home and is looking for his owner. However, he is startled to see an unknown dog in the car. The cat immediately complains about the situation, but John just introduces him to the new member of the family. When they return home, John shows Odie his new home, making Garfield jealous. To try and distract himself from this new problem, the animal climbs into his favorite armchair. At that moment, Odie comes over to play and tries to share the armchair, but Garfield doesn't want his friendship and pushes him away. Afterwards, Odie appears outside the house playing with his ball until he meets Garfield. The cat doesn't care about him, but just as he did with Nermal, he tries to trick the little dog into getting another bottle of milk. Garfield then asks Odie to get into the bucket and shows him how to do it. However, instead of obeying, the dog pulls hard on the rope and both Garfield and the milk bottle are thrown to the ceiling. At this point, the feline ends up falling from the roof, but then the bucket falls on top of him. Finally, the bottle that ended up in the gutter pours the milk into the bucket and Odie takes the opportunity to drink it. Annoyed, Garfield runs after Odie, but because of his weight, he can't catch him. The dog then runs off into a garden and Garfield follows him, without realizing that he has entered Luca's yard. To make matters worse, the dog has lost his chain and decides to take revenge on the cat. But to Garfield's surprise, Odie shows up and saves his feline friend's life. At the end of the day, Odie climbs into John's bed and Garfield orders him to leave, as his owner doesn't allow animals to sleep in his bed. 
However, John shows up and lets Odie sleep with him, making Garfield even more jealous. The next morning, while the feline is dancing to a music video, Odie insists on playing with him, but the cat pushes him away several times. Tired of being ignored, the dog decides to take revenge and throws a pillow at the orange cat. Garfield immediately fights back and starts dancing to provoke the dog. However, Odie joins in and dances along with him. Without realizing it, they both enjoy the moment and, for the first time, have fun together. Garfield and Odie are dancing outside the house when they are spotted by Nermal and Arlene, who are surprised to realize that dog and cat have finally become friends. However, when Garfield realizes that he is being watched, he tries to disguise it and puts an end to the dance. Shortly afterwards, Liz stops her car in front of the house. She's taking John and Odie to a dog fair, so Garfield isn't invited. At first, the cat doesn't mind being left alone in the house, but when Nermal tells him that Garfield is being replaced by Odie, he rushes after the car. Even with his short legs, Garfield manages to climb into the car. But Liz breaks the car suddenly and the cat crashes face first into the window. Luckily, no one realized he was there. Arriving at the fair, Garfield is exploring the place, but ends up meeting the dogs who are going to take part in the competition. At the sight of the cat, the dogs go berserk and run after him, causing the biggest commotion at the fair. To try and distract the guests from the mess, the presenter asks the DJ to play a song. He chooses the same song that Garfield and Odie were dancing to at home moments before. Odie then recognizes the song and breaks free from John's arms. He stands in front of the audience and the judges and begins to dance to the rhythm of the song, leaving everyone impressed. Meanwhile, Garfield is running away from the dogs and ends up getting into a woman's dress. At that moment, she becomes desperate and pushes everyone in her way. The woman runs non-stop but ends up falling in front of a pile of cans of dog food. Thanks to this, Garfield manages to get out of the dress, but the dogs continue to chase him. The cat runs to save himself, but ends up being surrounded by the dogs. Cunningly, Garfield manages to divert their attention and seizes the chance to escape. Meanwhile, Odie has become the star of the event and the judges congratulate him on his performance. One of the jury members is Dr. Happy, the TV presenter who sees the dog as a chance to win fame and money. He then makes his owner an offer to turn Odie into a TV star, but John rejects it, saying that he just wants Odie to be his pet. Frustrated by his response, Dr. Happy asks him to call him if he changes his mind. Hours later, John, Odie and Liz return home, without realizing that Garfield has been hiding under the car the whole way. When he gets home, John invites Liz in, but she says she has to go back to the clinic. Nevertheless, the woman asks him out another time and kisses him goodbye. Meanwhile, Garfield enters the house, still angry that Odie has stolen his master's heart. Driven by anger, he hits a lampshade with his ball, which causes various objects in the room to fall. The mess ends with the bookcase being knocked over and Garfield narrowly missing being crushed by it. Soon afterwards, John enters the house and is startled by the mess. Garfield then appears and tries to cover it up, but the man thinks his cat has done it all on purpose. As punishment, John puts Garfield to sleep outside. This is the last straw for the cat, who sings his sorrows outside while watching John and Odie have fun inside. Alone and hurt, Garfield lies down on the rug on the other side of the door. Odie then appears and lies down next to him to comfort him. Unfortunately, the cat takes a very selfish attitude and enters the house, but leaves Odie locked outside. Odie tries to open the door, but Garfield ignores him and goes back to bed. Just then, a motorcyclist passes in front of the house and the puppy runs after him. He ends up getting lost in the city, until he sees a feed truck and runs after it. Alone and lost, Odie ends up sleeping on the steps in front of a house. Luckily, a lady appears in front of him and takes him inside. The next morning, Garfield comes downstairs to find John worried, looking all over the house for Odie. Far away, Dr. Happy is trying on a tailor-made suit. He then tells his assistant that he needs a smart dog to improve the show's ratings. Just then, his assistant sees a poster on a lamppost with a picture of a found dog. Dr. Happy realizes that the dog on the poster looks a lot like Odie, the same one that impressed him at the dog fair. Meanwhile, John is looking for Odie in every corner of the city. He puts up posters with his picture and offers a reward to anyone who finds him. Afterwards, John returns home and soon afterwards, Liz appears at the door. She reminds him that they had a dinner date, but John forgot about it because he was worried about Odie. He is unsure whether to tell Liz what happened, as he has waited a long time for this date. After thinking about it, he decides to tell her the truth and Liz readily offers to help him look for the dog. Unfortunately for the couple, Dr. Happy arrives first at Odie's house. The presenter tells the lady that the dog is his, and she gives it to him in exchange for an autograph. 
While the little dog is being taken away, Garfield remains at home. He tries to distract himself by watching TV, but all the channels show scenes from movies with dogs, which makes the cat feel guilty about what he's done. He then leaves the house to talk to his animal friends, but they all blame him for letting Odie run away. Garfield tries to justify himself, but realizes that his selfishness has pushed him too far. Friendless and feeling guilty, Garfield returns to his armchair. Suddenly, on the TV, the Dr. Happy show comes on, introducing Odie as its new star. Garfield is relieved to hear that the dog is fine, but then the presenter tells him that they're going on a trip to New York. Because of this news, Garfield is afraid he'll never see Odie again. He then calls John to watch the TV, but the man is talking to Liz on the phone. After much insistence, he decides to go to the cat, but as soon as he arrives in the living room, the program ends and a food commercial appears. John gets annoyed with Garfield and just turns off the TV. Unbeknownst to them, Dr. Happy is in his office and has evil plans for the poor dog. He pulls a suitcase out of the drawer and inside it is an electric collar. The man intends to use the collar on Odie to tame him, acting against the warnings of his assistant. Back at John's house, Garfield continues to call out to his owner, but is completely ignored. The cat then remembers that he has some of Dr. Happy's food in the cupboard and takes the box to look for the address where he and Odie can be found. Garfield finds the location and sets off to rescue his friend, but first he recharges his batteries with a packet of snacks. Now that he's well fed, the feline goes after his friend. When he arrives in town, he finds a bus and decides to hitch a ride. Meanwhile, John prepares a lasagna and calls the cat to eat, but realizes that it has also disappeared. Some time later, Garfield finally arrives in town. However, he gets lost and ends up in an alley. There, the feline is surrounded by several rats who want to eat him, but soon after, Lewis appears and convinces the rats to leave. Rescued from danger, Garfield asks Lewis to help him find Odie. The two use boxes to disguise themselves in the crowd, but have to cross the street to reach their destination. While they are trying to cross the road, a car speeds past and takes away the box Garfield was using to hide. At that moment, the traffic light authorizes pedestrians to cross and the cat tries to dodge them so as not to be trampled. In the middle of the crowd, Lewis loses sight of Garfield and calls out to him. Fortunately, the cat manages to escape by climbing over the traffic lights. Shortly afterwards, Liz is leaving the veterinary clinic when John turns up and asks for her help. He tells her that Garfield has disappeared and the two decide to go and look for him. Back in the city, Lewis and Garfield arrive at the address indicated on the box. The cat then thinks about how to get into the building without anyone noticing, and finds an entrance through the ventilation tunnel. As the slacker cat tries to climb the tunnel, the building's security guards see on the screen that something is coming up the pipe. They then activate the ventilation system and Garfield is pushed all the way down the tunnel. At the same time, John and Liz are looking for the pets. They find the poster with the dog's picture stuck to a tree and decide to go to the address indicated on the paper. Back in the building, Garfield continues to walk along the pipe and calls for Odie. The dog, who is trapped in a cage, hears his friend's voice and answers his call. Garfield finally finds where he is and goes to meet him. The cat apologizes for everything that has happened and tries to open the cage, but then Dr. Happy appears and the cat hides. The villain takes Odie out of the cage and intends to take him to a performance. First, however, he tests the electric collar, which is activated using a remote control. The shock of the collar is so strong that Odie jumps backwards. Seeing this act of cruelty makes Garfield even more determined to save his friend. Dr. Happy then takes Odie to the elevator, but Garfield grabs a tray and uses it as a skateboard to slide down the staircase railing. He reaches one of the floors, but can't slow down and is thrown out of the window. Immediately, Garfield tries to hold on, but ends up falling through the roof of a truck. As luck would have it, the truck was loaded with lasagna and the cat took the opportunity to satisfy his hunger. Leaving the truck, he sees Odie being taken to a cab and tries to follow his friend, but a policeman appears and catches him, believing him to be a stray animal. Meanwhile, John arrives at the address on the poster looking for Odie, but the lady answers saying that he has been taken by Dr. Happy. Upon hearing this, John and Liz are confused, but go after the thief to get their dog back. In the meantime, Garfield is taken by the policeman to a kennel. There, he meets Roland, the cat who used to be on the Dr. Happy show, and tells him about his mission to rescue his friend. At that moment, a family comes to adopt an animal and all the cats, including Garfield, are put in a queue to be chosen. The couple's daughter chooses Roland who, seizing the opportunity, decides to help his new friend escape. The cat then presses the red button and frees all the animals in the kennel, which serves as a distraction for Garfield to escape. Minutes later, Dr. Happy arrives at a train station and prepares to travel with Odie. 
At the same time, John and Liz find his office and are informed by the security guard that the doctor will be traveling by train to New York. The couple arrive at the station without knowing that Garfield is also there. However, the train to New York is already leaving. At this point, Garfield decides to stop the train and goes to the control room. When he gets there, he finds a control panel with lots of buttons. Not knowing what to do, the cat presses them all and activates the levers at random. However, this sends the trains on a collision course. With the vehicles about to hit each other, Garfield presses a red button, which causes them all to stop at the last minute. Now that he understands how the panel works, the cat manages to take the train OD is on back to the station. As the orange cat enters the carriage, he hears his friend barking and opens the cage to give Odie a warm hug. After this reunion, they both run away through the station. However, Dr. Happy sees them through the window and runs after them. Odie and Garfield end up in the luggage storage, but there they are cornered by Dr. Happy. The two try to turn around, but the villain pushes the suitcases aside to block their passage. The villain then grabs Odie and intends to put the electric collar on him. Garfield immediately tries to protect his friend and attacks the doctor but he throws him towards the suitcases. Then the animals from the kennel show up to help the cat and surround the doctor. He tries to calm the animals down, but when he turns his back, he finds several mice among the luggage. The man runs desperately down the corridor, but the animals block all the exits. Garfield then gives the order and they all attack Dr. Happy. After the attack, the villain gets up and realizes that the electric collar has been placed around his neck. Odie seizes the chance and grabs the remote control. Garfield and the dog press the button and the villain gets a shock so strong that he ends up spinning backwards. Minutes later, John and Liz arrive on the scene and meet Odie and Garfield. However, before celebrating the reunion, John punches Dr. Happy in the face for stealing his friends. After the confusion is resolved, a television report shows Dr. Happy being arrested, while Odie and Garfield appear safe and sound, alongside Liz and John. Back at home, Garfield is welcomed as a hero by his friends. John thanks Liz for all her help and the two kiss, while Odie shows his joy for the couple. Sometime later, John and Liz are on the sofa watching a movie, while Garfield and Odie are together, sharing an armchair. However, it doesn't take long for the cat to push him back onto the floor, showing him who's boss in the house. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.